In cryptography, a cipher is an algorithm for performing encryption or decryption a euro a series of well-defined steps that can be followed as a procedure. An alternative, less common term is enkifferment. To enkiffer or encode is to convert information from plain text into cipher or code. In non-technical usage, a cipher is the same thing as a code. However, the concepts are distinct in cryptography. In classical cryptography, ciphers were distinguished from codes. Codes generally substitute different length strings of characters in the output, while ciphers generally substitute the same number of characters as are input. There are exceptions and some cipher systems may use slightly more, or fewer, characters when output versus the number that were input. Codes operated by substituting according to a large code book which linked a random string of characters or numbers to a word or phrase. For example, UQJHSE could be the code for proceed to the following coordinates. When using a cipher the original information is known as plain text, and the encrypted form is cipher text. The cipher text message contains all the information of the plain text message, but is not in a format readable by a human or computer without the proper mechanism to decrypt it. The operation of a cipher usually depends on a piece of auxiliary information, called a key. The encrypting procedure is varied depending on the key, which changes the detailed operation of the algorithm. A key must be selected before using a cipher to encrypt a message. Without knowledge of the key, it should be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to decrypt the resulting cipher text into readable plaintext. Most modern ciphers can be categorized in several ways, by whether they work on blocks of symbols usually of a fixed size, or on a continuous stream of symbols. By whether the same key is used for both encryption and decryption, or if a different key is used for each. If the algorithm is symmetric, the key must be known to the recipient and sender and to no one else. If the algorithm is an asymmetric one, the enkiffering key is different from, but closely related to, the deciphering key. If one key cannot be deduced from the other, the asymmetric key algorithm has the public-private key property and one of the keys may be made public without loss of confidentiality. Etymology, cipher is alternatively spelled cipher. Similarly ciphertext, and ciphertext, and so forth. The word cipher in former times meant zero, and had the same origin, Middle French a cipher and medieval Latin a cifra, from the Arabic omicron uo plus or minus a to the first pound if are equals zero. Cipher was later used for any decimal digit, even any number. There are many theories about how the word cipher may have come to mean encoding it was firstly introduced by Abba E. Abdullah H. Muayyan Ahmed ibn Mazar al Khwa Rizma. Encoding often involved numbers. The Roman number system was very cumbersome because there was no concept of zero. The concept of zero, which is now common knowledge, was alien to medieval Europe, so confusing and ambiguous to common Europeans that in arguments people would say talk clearly and not so far-fetched as a cipher. Cipher came to mean concealment of clear messages or encryption. The French formed the word chiff, and adopted the Italian word zero. The English used zero for zero, and cipher from the word ciphering as a means of computing. The Germans used the word ziffer, and chiff. The Dutch still use the word cijfer to refer to a numerical digit. The Italians and the Spanish also use the word cifra to refer to a number. The Serbians use the word cifra, which refers to a digit, or in some cases, any number. Besides cifra, they use word broj for a number. The Swedes use the word cifra, which refers to a digit and number to refer to a combination of cifra. Ibrahim al Khadi concluded that the Arabic word sifr, for the digit zero, developed into the European technical term for encryption. The concept of zero, called sifr in Arabic, came to medieval Europe from the Arabs. It confused the Europeans, who did not have the concept of zero and pronounced sifr a euro o a euro. The result of this confusion was that a common saying arose a euro o e o. He's saying something totally incomprehensible and abstract, like a cipher a euro cipher was the European pronunciation of SIFR, and cipher in turn came to mean a baffling message, a coded communication not easily understood. The Muslim next to the Quran, the media, 
and That Bale Thing, by Sambul Ali Karamouli, copyright a copyright 2008, pages 240-241. Versus Codes In non-technical usage, a secret code typically means a cipher. Within technical discussions, however, the words code and cipher refer to two different concepts. Codes work at the level of meaning a euro that is, words or phrases are converted into something else and this chunking generally shortens the message. An example of this is the telegraph code which was used to shorten long telegraph messages which resulted from entering into commercial contracts using exchanges of telegrams. Ciphers, on the other hand, work at a lower level, the level of individual letters, small groups of letters, or, in modern schemes, individual bits and blocks of bits. Some systems used both codes and ciphers in one system, using super encipherment to increase the security. In some cases the terms codes and ciphers are also used synonymously to substitution and transposition. Historically, cryptography was split into a dichotomy of codes and ciphers. And coding had its own terminology, analogous to that for ciphers, encoding, coded text, decoding, and so on. However, codes have a variety of drawbacks, including susceptibility to cryptanalysis and the difficulty of managing a cumbersome code book. Because of this, codes have fallen into disuse in modern cryptography, and ciphers are the dominant technique. Types There are a variety of different types of encryption. Algorithms used earlier in the history of cryptography are substantially different from modern methods, and modern ciphers can be classified according to how they operate and whether they use one or two keys. Historical Historical pen and paper ciphers used in the past are sometimes known as classical ciphers. They include simple substitution ciphers and transposition ciphers. For example good dog can be encrypted as PLLXXLP, where L substitutes for O. P for G, and X for D in the message. Transposition of the letters good dog can result in gogdu. These simple ciphers and examples are easy to crack, even without plain text cipher text pairs. Simple ciphers were replaced by polyalphabetic substitution ciphers which changed the substitution alphabet for every letter. For example good dog can be encrypted as PLSXTWF, where L, S, and W substitute for O. With even a small amount of known or estimated plain text, simple polyalphabetic substitution ciphers and letter transposition ciphers designed for pen and paper encryption are easy to crack. It is possible to create a secure pen and paper cipher based on a one-time pad though, but the usual disadvantages of one-time pads apply. During the early 20th century, electromechanical machines were invented to do encryption and decryption using transposition polyalphabetic substitution, and a kind of additive substitution. In rotor machines, several rotor disks provided polyalphabetic substitution, while plug boards provided another substitution. Keys were easily changed by changing the rotor disks in the plug board wires. Although these encryption methods were more complex than previous schemes and required machines to encrypt and decrypt, other machines such as the British bomb were invented to crack these encryption methods. Modern, modern encryption methods can be divided by two criteria, by type of key used, and by type of input data. By type of key used ciphers are divided into, symmetric key algorithms, where the same key is used for encryption and decryption, and, asymmetric key algorithms, where two different keys are used for encryption and decryption. In a symmetric key algorithm, the sender and receiver must have a shared key set up in advance and kept secret from all other parties. The sender uses this key for encryption, and the receiver uses the same key for decryption. The Fastel cipher uses a combination of substitution and transposition techniques. Most block cipher algorithms are based on this structure. In an asymmetric key algorithm, there are two separate keys. A public key is published and enables any sender to perform encryption, while a private key is kept secret by the receiver and enables only him to perform correct decryption. Ciphers can be distinguished into two types by the type of input data, block ciphers, which encrypt block of data of fixed size, and stream ciphers, which encrypt continuous streams of data, key size and vulnerability, 
In a pure mathematical attack, two factors above all count, computational power available, that is, the computing power which can be brought to bear on the problem. It is important to note that average performance capacity of a single computer is not the only factor to consider. An adversary can use multiple computers at once, for instance, to increase the speed of exhaustive search for a key substantially. Key size, that is, the size of key used to encrypt a message. As the key size increases, so does the complexity of exhaustive search to the point where it becomes impracticable to crack encryption directly. Since the desired effect is computational difficulty, in theory one would choose an algorithm and desired difficulty level, thus decide the key length accordingly. An example of this process can be found at key length which uses multiple reports to suggest that a symmetric cipher with 128 bits, an asymmetric cipher with 3072 bit keys, and an elliptic curve cipher with 512 bits, all have similar difficulty at present. Claude Shannon proved, using information theory considerations, that any theoretically unbreakable cipher must have keys which are at least as long as the plain text, and used only once, one time pad. See also Notes References Richard J. Aldrich, GCHQ, The Uncensored Story of Britain's Most Secret Intelligence Agency, HarperCollins July 2010. Helen Foucher Copyright Gains, Cryptanalysis, 1939, Dover. ISBN 0-486-20097-3, Ibrahim al Qadi. The Origins of Cryptology, The Arab Contributions, Cryptologia, 16, 2, PPA 97 Euro 126. David Kahn, The Code Breakers, The Story of Secret Writing, David A. King, The Ciphers of the Monks, A Forgotten Number Notation of the Middle Ages, Stuttgart, Franz Steiner, 2001, Abraham Sinkov, Elementary Cryptanalysis, A Mathematical Approach, Mathematical Association of America, 1966. ISBN 0-88385-622-0. William Stallings, Cryptography and Network Security, Principles and Practices, 4th edition, Stinson, Douglas R., Cryptography Slash Theory and Practice, CRC Press, ISBN A0-8493-8521-0. External links, Security Docs Resource for Encryption White Papers, a cumulative archive of various cryptography mailing lists. Includes cryptography list at Metzdode and security focus crypto list. Kish Cipher